Kelly Kimmy Star, and I'm here today to do a product review. And the products I'm reviewing today are from Carol's Daughter, and there are actually a few of them that I'm going to review. And they were provided to me by NaturallyCurly.com, however, I was not paid for this review. And this review is, as always, my own and honest opinion. So, actually, before I get started, I'm going to show you my earrings. See my gorgeous earrings? These were given to me by my girl Crystal for my birthday. Thank you so much, girl. They are so beautiful. She handmade these. And these are hot hot gorgeous pink and that's little purple beads going around on the inside and they look the same on both sides so either way that they hang they look the same and they are so cute aren't they just so cute love them so okay so i'm actually going to feature in the description box below if you have any questions about like what lipstick am i wearing eyeshadow whatever i'm going to leave all that into the description box so if you're ever wondering from now on i'm just going to leave that in the comment section or in the description box before i get started with the line i'm actually going to leave below also every single one of the ingredients of the products and where you can find them to purchase them the price and all that i'm going to leave that below i'm really not going to talk too much about the ingredients i'm not going to read them because i've got four products to get through in this one review so let's get First product in the line is called Carol's Daughter Hair Milk Nourishing and Conditioning Cleansing Conditioner. This product it says on the front it's for curls, coils, kinks, and waves, and it's going to deeply moisturize, improve softness, and prevent frizz. And it has agave, shea, pro vitamin B5 in here. When I first got this line, and I looked at, I kind of scanned the ingredients briefly, and I was like, so excited. I was like, oh my god, no silicones, yay! And I posted the picture of the products, and I was like, yay, no silicones. I was wrong and I'm like embarrassed because I'm like I was so excited about the no silicones that I was like telling everybody and then I sat down and I went through each ingredient and found silicones in here and I'm like I don't know what is wrong with my eyes or brain I don't know but I did find them so I apologize for that up front I'm showing you what it looks like it's nice and creamy can uh, shampoo or cleansing conditioner it actually feels really nice on your hair um, I did not detangle with it but it has a nice lips so you probably could if you are someone who likes to detangle with your shampoos or or your co-wash whatever so the consistency is really nice it does say actually i'm going to read to you this it does say no sulfates no parabens petroleum mineral oil or artificial colors but there is silicones in here um while i did like this i wasn't in love with it um it did make my hair it seemed to be clean it felt nice when i was done with it so you know it seemed fine i wasn't like amazing but it was good i mean i would you know i don't have a problem using this the issue that i have is that it has a silicone in here and when you have a silicone in your shampoo and you go to rinse it out it just means you're not rinsing the silicones out if it's not a water soluble one and this one is actually a uh, ammo dimethicone and there's another silicone that's farther down the list um, and from what I found this particular silicone is not water soluble um, like I keep finding all different kinds of research on it but from what I understand and what I've able to determine, it is not water soluble. However, you can remove it with a light cleanser, cocoa betadine, something like that, as opposed to you don't have to use a sulfate in order to remove it. Like if something like dimethicone, you do need to use like a harsh, harsh cleanser in order to get it out of your hair. This one you could use, you know, like a, actually any one of the, the conditioners that I use on a regular basis, almost all of them have a, a mild cleanser and this would remove it but my issue is if you're using this all the time and this is your primary cleanser and that's what you're using to clean your hair and you're not following it up with a different cleanser ever then you're not really going to remove the silicone in it so i'm not really i don't really like that it's in here i wish it was not in here if you're somebody who has no issue with silicones then this would be fine because again if you do switch up your conditioner or your um shampoos often or your co-washes or your cleansing conditioners often and one of them does have a mild cleanser in there, then you could actually get this out of your hair without a problem. So I don't really like the buildup of silicones and I don't like to have to worry, especially in a shampoo. I'm like, you know, if it was like a, the leave-in or something and I was gonna rinse it out later and wash it out with a shampoo that would remove it, that's one thing. But this actually, you're gonna use it and it's just gonna stay in your hair if this is all you're using. So I don't know if that makes sense. This on its own, if you don't have any issues with silicones, a lot of people don't care and they have, you know, the hair is fine with them, then this is actually would be a good product for you. It worked fine in my hair. My hair felt clean and soft and I didn't have any issues with it. I did use this three or four times. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is the hair milk. This is actually, um, says, nourishing and conditioning styling pudding. This is what it looks like. And it says, deeply moisturizes, improves softness, and it prevents frizz. And it has agave, gargum, and avocado in it. This actually does not contain anything funky. It actually has no parabens, petroleum, mineral oil, or artificial colors. 
and I've been through this now a couple times. There is a silicone in here, PEG 12 dimethicone, which is water soluble. Yay! <laughs> so I don't have any issue if it's water soluble. If I can get water in my hair and rinse it out and it's no big deal, I don't have to remember to do something different, then it's totally fine. So this will rinse out of your hair easily, no big deal. So this should be fine. What I'm showing you right now is the consistency. This consistency, it's a nice, thick, creamy pudding, um, but it's not too heavy. And I actually really liked it. It was really good for my hair. I used it as a leave-in because I knew when I got this product um, and the time I needed to get this review up, I knew that I was only gonna be doing wash and goes on my hair and I wasn't going to be doing a twist out or a braid or anything like that. So usually with a pudding, that's what I would use it for. But I use this as a leave-in and I was like, oh, it's like nice and light. It's not too heavy, so it should be a nice leave-in for me. So I did, that's how I use this. I use this as a leave-in and it actually worked pretty well on my hair. Like I really don't have anything negative to say about this product. Um, my hair, you know, I used it as a leave-in after my hair was clean and rinsed out of my conditioner. I used this as a leave-in and then I put in, used my butter and then I put my gel on top of that that I was using whatever I was using at the time. And it worked fine. I had no issues with this product at all. My hair felt like it normally felt afterwards after I washed it, stayed nice and moisturized. Um, this is really nice consistency. Oh, I forgot to even talk about the smell. I'm missing, I'm totally forgetting the scent. So let's talk about the scent now. I'm all out of order. Um, the scent's fine. It's not like, you know, it's like a fine smell, nothing too crazy, nothing too like bad or good, whatever. It's just kind of middle of the road for me. And it actually didn't, I didn't, I don't remember smelling it after my hair was dry. Like it was pretty much gone for me. Yeah, so you know, it's like whatever. Um, kind of perfumey, but not too heavy. You know, it's just, it's kind of negligible. It didn't really bother me. So that's the scent of this one. And let me go back and smell the scent of the cleansing conditioner. This one, um, this is similar. I mean, it's kind of perfumey, not too heavy, you know, just kind of a clean smell, you know, like whatever, no big deal. The next part I wanna talk to you about is called Sacred Tare. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. This is what it looks like. So maybe you know how to pronounce it. I don't think I do. So that's the product. It's a restoring hair mask. It is anti-breakage and anti-frizz. It's for damaged, fragile, frizzy, and unruly hair. It restores strength, prevents damage, smooths away frizz. It has a copra, coconut oil, shea, and baba su. Baba su? Baba su? I don't know. <laughs> so those are the main, those are the uh, couple of ingredients that they listed. And they have the ingredients on the back. Um, I'm not gonna read all of them. I'm gonna leave them below, as I've said 3,000 times in this video. <laughs> um, but this actually has some pretty nice ingredients. I'm trying to remember if there's a silicone in this one. Yes, this one actually does. And it has, the silicone is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's eight on the list, which from what I understand, anything that is lower on the list, lower than five or six, it has a relatively small concentration. So there is a silicone in it. So it's not, it shouldn't be that much of it in there, but there is one, and this is dimethicone. And dimethicone, unfortunately, is one of the ones that you cannot remove with anything other than a sulfate shampoo. So I don't really like that at all, because <laughs> I don't use sulfate shampoos if I can help it. Um, and this actually is something you would need to use in order to make sure that it's completely out of your hair. So as I'm showing you right now, the consistency, it's, like the other products, it's a little thicker than the, the pudding, um, but it's a nice texture for a deep conditioner. Let me give you the scent. Um, similar to the rest of the line, kind of perf perfumey, not too heavy. It's kind of mild, negligible. You know, you're not gonna love it, but you're not gonna hate it. Well, at least I didn't. Um, that's how I felt about it. But so basically I use this and there is actually some protein in here. Um, hydrolyzed vegetable protein has silk protein in here. Um, yeah, I think that was it. So I use this as a DC. I washed my hair. I used, actually I used this whole line. I did it. I used the, con the cleansing conditioner. I used one of my regular rinse out conditioners that I used to tangle my hair. And then I put this in, sat under the dryer. I did exactly what it said to do. Sat under the dryer for seven to 10 minutes. And then I rinsed it out. I wasn't really impressed with this product rinsed it out, my hair felt better after I used my rinse out conditioner. That made it, my hair felt softer then. This was like, didn't feel dry, but it didn't, it felt less soft. It felt, 
didn't feel as soft as with my rinsed out conditioner that I use. And this, I put it sat on the dryer and sat on, left it in longer. It, my hair should have felt better than it did. Now my hair can be protein sensitive, so that might be why. So if your hair doesn't have an issue with protein, and that was the reason why my hair didn't feel as soft, it might work for you. But for me, it didn't work. And I don't know if it's the protein or not. I just know my hair is sensitive to some certain proteins, and that may be why it made my hair, it took away some of the softness out of my hair. That may be why, I don't know. But since my hair didn't feel as soft, I put in, I used, put my rinse out in again so that I could have that really super soft feeling before I went to the next step. So that was not a good sign that I had to use something else. So I, re I only used this once, I didn't use it again because it did not, it took softness away from my hair and it wasn't something I was willing to use in my hair again after my hair did that. So um, I can't recommend this product, but if you're somebody who has no issue with proteins, then this actually may be fine for you. I just, it just didn't really work for me. The very last product I'm going to show to you is um, Sacred Tare. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And this is a anti-breakage and anti-fridge smoothing serum. And it has copra, coconut oil, safflower, safflower and vitamin E. And this product, um, <laughs> you can see, I've used a lot of it. Okay, so I'm showing you, you the consistency of the product. It's actually a very light oil, super light. Um, I really like this a lot. It, I use this, this is, I use the most out of the whole line because I moisturize and seal my hair every single night. So for the last like 15 days that I've had this product, I've used this every single night. So it's, so I've used a lot of it and I have a lot of experience with it now and I love it, love it, love it, love this. Out of this whole line that I've tried so far, this is my favorite product in the line. It is a nice light oil. It is great, great, great on dry hair. I actually didn't try it on wet hair. I could have, and it probably would have been just as fine because, but it was fabulous. I love this, love this, love this. So if you're looking for, I can't really speak to the anti-bridge or breakage or anti-frizz part, um, I, cause I used it at night. It was totally fine, great. Really made my hair feel nice, helped to seal in the moisture, not too heavy, did not make my hair feel greasy. I love this. And I'm trying to remember what the ingredients are. This does not have silicone though at all. In fact, it says it on the package and I double checked after I messed up before when I was posting it. But it says no silicones, no parabens, no petroleum, no mineral oil, and no artificial colors. So this has really, really nice ingredients. So if you are on the curly girl method, meaning you don't use silicones or anything like that, this actually would work for you. But if you're somebody who doesn't care, this would work for you too, because it's really great. I don't know the, the prices, I will leave everything below, but this would actually be my favorite so far in the line. So that's pretty much all I have to say about this line. I do think this entire line you can purchase at Target. So just to recap, um, actually let me start with the order of things that I would repurchase. This is a Sacred Tari, this is a smoothing serum oil. This was a nice light oil on my hair. I loved it. Actually has a nice scent too. Let me tell. Yeah, this is a little sweeter than the other scents. Um, so I did like this scent actually the best. I like this so much. It was nice and light. I would actually purchase this even though I have so many oils and butters in my house. Won't be anytime soon, but I would buy this again. If I'm out of town and like I missed an oil, I forgot to bring one, I would absolutely go to the store and get it because this is a really nice oil. Um, the next product in line that I would say that I liked next would be the hair milk styling pudding. This was actually, I actually would buy this again. Um, nice and light, not too heavy. It was nice, went on my hair very easily and it made my hair stay nice and moisturized. I would use this again, even though I only used it for wash and goes, it would be great for twist outs and braid outs as well, absolutely. This would be number three. I would not buy this again, mainly because I don't really like the fact that there's a silicone in the shampoo because it's a shampoo is supposed to be cleaning things out of you for not depositing things in. And since I would have to change up my shampoos to make sure that I'm removing the silicone in my hair, it's not something I would really, I'm interested in, in purchasing at all. So if you are somebody who doesn't care about silicones, it has no, your hair likes them, it works fine with you, this actually would, would be nice because it worked fine on my hair. So this is a Sacred Tare Restoring Hair Mask. This would be the last thing on my list because I really, I didn't, I didn't want to use it more than once because it took softness out of my hair and whether my hair doesn't like it just because it doesn't like it for whatever reason or it doesn't like it because of the protein in it, I don't really know. I just know the end result was it did not my hair, make my hair feel good at all and it's not something I wanted to try again. Um, I love you guys. I love trying products. I love seeing what works for my hair. But if I put something in my hair that takes something away or makes my hair feel worse than the state it was already in, 
then I'm definitely not going to continue to use it. If you have any questions about anything in the line, definitely let me know. If you've tried any of these four products, leave in the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite product is or let me know what your experience has been. I would love to hear what you guys think um, to see if it's any different than my experience. I would love to know that. So I guess that's it. Don't forget I do brand new videos every single Monday. And thank you so much to naturallycurly.com and to Carol's daughter for allowing me to try these products. And I guess that's it. I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye. Hey beauties. If you wanna watch some of my most recent videos, please click on either one of the videos that you see on your screen right now and it'll take you right to the video so you can check it out. If you want to make sure you get all of my latest videos, make sure you go to the bottom left hand of your screen, click there, and you can go ahead and subscribe. I upload brand new videos every single Monday. Thank you so much for watching my video.